slash uh the hex. The hex, the hex, the hex. Looks like heel pod, she might walk up this high ground. Same with RTZ. They walk right into the watcher. Buddy! Don't stay here. He gets pushed on back. Does get the plasma field first. Maybe they have enough damage for it? It looks like they do. RTZ goes down for first blood. Michael picking it up here on the Batrider pause four. That's a big boost that they need. Easier to hit. Ah, uh, 200 pure, maybe. I don't know, I feel like both of them were over 200 at the time. So I think they're fine. Looks like mid lane, they are going on alone. Trying to bounce him back alone. Can he actually get the hit? This is the ward, the Olicor, placing it at the very last second. And then the stun, getting the kill with the amp damage rune. Huge for Theolacor, but uh... Ooh, you'll punch. They see the gyro dropping the EMP, have the hex as well. They want to get Saberlight in to stun through the trees, plus the double edge. Can they get the tornado trying to stop him from regening up? A little bit more damage they'll have it, but maybe they'll take Saberlight out instead. They even get the kill on the IO. Saberlight should go down at the end of this one, but Arteezy took the portal down, so he'll also get in on the mix. It's a three for one trade, although they lose Saberlight. He's okay with that, man. His team got three kills. And they've taken over. Oh, locked in. Gets the Doom on the Razor here. He had the ulti already, so he is doing that AoE minus armor, but they actually swamp out the Batrider. Get the kill. Now walking through the ice wall. Oh, this is rough. Get track. Getting ran down as well. The call down from Jim Park. So they get the Razor and they're able to get Kit Track. And oh, the Olicor, he just TPs away at the very last second. Almost got three kills themselves, but instead, we'll have to settle for just the two. This ward has actually lasted almost the entire time, and this just started from trying to find a kill in the mid lane. So they will get the swamp out, finding alone again. It's so hard for him to live like this. They have another wonderful world ward on this top side. It is a wonderful world for them, too. But now they're TPing bottom. Yopash trying to get something done down here. The Ghost Walk runs out, giving the Ice Armor over. And maybe he turns around with the Doom. Yopash, again, no more Ghost Walk. So he can't even get away from this one. If he tried, they will get the kill. And now they're turning around to Arteezy. He's already taken a lot of damage with this one. Kitrak using the Blood Grenade. He'll Delta Split, trying to draw them away from Arteezy. But they know, Devil, he doesn't want that little old kit track he wants the big boy he wants the razor and the last few clicks devil will pick it up off of the infernal blade and maybe they'll run for one more jim park is over he's got to clear all the creeps they're body blocking him unfortunately but hey three gone oh and they're reloading they find arteezy hitting him with the solar bind and even i think a rocket coming in soon it, i mean gyro actually he doesn't even want to show up they're just using the doom and yeah he's just gonna drop all the way down devil goodness he's got the shivas card i don't know if you guys remember there used to be a huge carry doom day actually uh he would just get track could be in danger but there's no blink dagger on devil gonna get the amped move speed we on the other side they jump on michael has a lasso, we'll use it at the very last second, but the damage is still there from Saberlight, so will fall. Now they're trying to turn onto the Io, but alone, he's here, and they're using the Solar Bind. They think they have the advantage of this one now. Coming all the way through, they'll trade support for support. Looks like they might try it again. Yo, they are aggressive. Saberlight blinking, but the Jeeves get the sun on two, including the Io, reducing the regen, and maybe opening up a spot for them to kill this gyro but they don't want it they're evacuating immediately they don't think they have it too many tps coming in from mad kings and saberlight in danger getting hit by the vessel kit track already falling and a huge last blast from the caudal looks like they will secure themselves a kill on saberlight well done for the tps in to save their gyrocopter oh where it at where it at though it's up here i caught it Tornado away though. Looks like he's still fine for now, but the jump in gyrocopter, he jumps in disarmed though. And yeah, I mean, it'll be a while for him to actually engage in this one, it feels. Infernal Blade will count out the Ventral Sphere first. And on the other side, the stun, I don't think it'll protect Saberlight as much as they want. They'll get to a nice relocation in. Mad Kings are doing phenomenal at just being everywhere for these fights. Not a single fight taken alone. Matter about anything else, right? Uh, he might be able to win these fights by himself. Looks like in the mid lane, they do hex up and swap out the coddle. He doesn't get the heal for himself, but they are going to use the centaur ult to kind of get out of here. They do not want to take this fight. Kitchart's TPing away. And they do have 
A big stun on the ultra, but did he get the oh caught all? No, they, they left! They left alone! Well alone! And now, oh boy. With this debuff immunity, Theolacore, oh my goodness, he will just walk away. Good god. Stinger, that is a bold move <laughs> to just leave. Take the gyrocopter with you. They weren't even HP on Parker, man. He's got... Oh, that would have been a 1500 barrier. Oof. But they do find Theolacore right now. Trying to get him out there with the ulti. But on the other side, they actually doomed up. The centaur, so they knew he was close. The other core is trying to take everybody's mana. It's working, he's trying to keep you away. Do they have the last one? They do at the very last second. They'll turn their sights to the lion later, but first, it's time to take down the centaur. Oh no, no, they gave it to Steiner. He just gets the last hit. It goes back away with the relocation. That's kind of funny. That's in. And Parker, oh my goodness, he's gonna show himself. Oh, he's a huge target. They swap him back. Can they actually save him here? He loses so much health. The Reaper's just on the ground. Who's able to pick it up here? Razor's making his offboard. He's able to get the Reaper here on his own. Devil uses the Doom, but everybody's just going to TP out of this one. Why did you give it to him? Dizzy. How did Gaben know? Gaben knew this whole time. He's going to get a Reaper. Smoked up now. Shot by that. Why not? Why not go high ground? What? What's so wrong about it? They linked each other, it looks like. So, gonna swing back though. And that's an illusion on the centaur. They don't have Gurren back the right one. Gyrocopter in the midst of everything. He just falls. Now they turn to the IO. This RTZ hero, he is just invincible. Michael, one more hit. No. They don't have it. RTZ is unstoppable. Fortification. Mad Games. They're staring death in the face. That rapier was in their hands. Roshan was right in front of them, but they couldn't close it out. Arteezy's going right after the throne. Gyrocopter will be up in five seconds. The team behind him, Age is still around. How can you all in on Arteezy? Jump through, they're gonna get the Doom on the Centaur first. Gonna get himself away still. They haven't gone in. It's a Cataclysm. It may take down the Io, it will. They're gonna turn back, try to get the Centaur, but they just don't have enough. The Elcor is taking everybody's mana right now. Jim Park able to pop the BKB. They'll finally get out, it seems, on a few. But Arteezy, he just TP's away. A triple for the Gyrocopter, but the base is exposed and they do not get the Rapier back. Solar finding himself, dude. The racks are just falling. Are you gonna do anything? They're gonna swap back Parker. He's popping the BKB, but he's getting linked up by Arteezy. The Rapier damage is way too much. Is he able to pop the Satanic and get a little bit of health back? The Olicar will sit. Dude, he's at 10 HP. They finally get him here. Arteezy does have the Aegis. It's 18 seconds. They almost want to leave him be, but they know they have to kill him. At least give them some space to breathe. Saber is going to come in, try to help him out here. There's no BKB right now, though. Get the link on the Batrider, turn it up onto the high ground. Cataclysm coming out. Can they slow him enough to stay in? And no, but it looks like with the ice one. No! He gets out! They relocate the Gyrocopter out of here. He'll survive for now. They're turning around back on alone. Now they've got to go on Devil. They can see him through the trees thanks to the plasma field. Arteezy, another kill. Gyrocopter getting out of the dust in the nick of time. No, he gets sent back just a slightly. He's not even out of here just yet. Alone will die. Saber Lake bouncing all the way through with the Overseal Totem. Arteezy will take one, get it on the IO, come towards the Gyrocopter. It's an ultra kill for Arteezy. If he gets the Gyrocopter from rags to riches, maybe he can get it. A few more hits. The ulti out. He gets it. A kill spree, but he doesn't collect the kills himself. The Rapier's on the ground. Everybody's buying back. Kitrak takes one of the Rapiers. Yopaj may have to take another one. GG is called. Oh my goodness. What a way to end game number one. That was, that was a wild, wild one, but not in the way you would have expected.